Hi, I'm Colin and welcome to How to Paint Watercolours. So if you're ready, we'll get started and we'll paint this one. Hello and welcome back to my channel, How to Paint Watercolours with me, Colin. And uh, this is another Bob Ross uh, painting, which I'm doing for people who like Bob Ross, but unfortunately can't use the material oil paints and thinners and stuff simply because of allergic reactions. So this is nickel yellow, so get some of this in the sky. And being as we don't really use white, we have to arrive at the colours by other means. This is a little bit of cadmium yellow, light, and into that some Indian yellow. I've stretched my paper, you've seen me do that before. Cadmium red and burnt sienna on the edges here. Touch more yellow, Indian yellow. Alizarin crimson, French ultramarine, and burnt sienna. Just for the outside edges. Here a bit, I think. Just bring some colour in here, get yellow lights, yellow ochre. Then take in kitchen paper, kitchen towel, wrap a coin in. down so you get a circle lift your sun out so we're just going to bring the colors together now just gently blending them in strengthen it up where it might need it Touch of Indian yellow. If you haven't got Indian yellow, cadmium yellow deep will do it. Okay, and I want to leave that to dry. I've got the board at a slight angle now. The, the sky and the first wash colours are dry, and I'm just going to add. Oh, that went bad. I have to let this dry a little bit further. But we'll carry on. Some of the sky colour once again. Alizarin Crimson Burnt Sienna with some French Ultramarine. Just adding a little bit of yellow back into it. And I'm going to let this dry. Now that the first hill is dry, I'm going to re-wet the second hill. Same colour, Prince Ultramarine, Alizarin Crimson, with some burnt sienna in it. Give it a little bit of an undulating top edge, almost as if trees are sticking out. to come down as the board's at an angle it will drift this way and then we're going to let this part dry then we come to our third area of land and once again I'm just going to re-wet it clean water then salt marine alizarin crimson with some burnt umber in it burnt sienna in it sorry just start above where you've uh, Spread your water out, clean water, and allow this to drift into it. And 
happen into that. Just want to drop some burnt umber and French ultramarine, not a lot. Naples yellow, French ultramarine and burnt umber. Just feeding in some straightforward Naples yellow in. Walking up along the bottom. And we're going to leave this to dry. I'm not sure whether I gave you the title of this one at the beginning. Um, this is actually Evening Glow by Bob Ross, just in case I forgot to mention it. <laughs> Just sometimes happen as you get older. So I'm just going to re-wet the bottom half of this painting. Just want to drop some cadmium yellow light and some areas just to little bright spots. Yellow ochre will help darken off any of the greens should they get out of hand. This is our first green, which is Cadmium Mellow Light, French Ultramarine and Raw Rumba. I'm just going to pick out where would the light areas of this green would be first and put them in. I've got the board laying flat for this. Just feeding colour in. Moving to a darker green, this has more burnt umber in it and more French ultramarine just to make it darker. I'm going to feed this in. Have a real dark earthy green, French ultramarine, cadmium yellow deep, and burnt umber. Just a little much. Some burnt umber into the path. Bringing some burnt umber into the greens. Burnt umber French ultramarine again, but a darker colour. Watercolours won't behave the way that oil colours do, so you have to have a little bit of patience with it. French ultramarine and burnt umber, just added into this path. And now we're going to let this dry. Okay, now your grassy area is nice and dry. We're just going to re-wet this river area with some clean water. Naples yellow, French ultramarine with some burnt umber and alizarin crimson in it. And we're just going to wash this in. Horizontal strokes. And I just want to take some water and just brush it <coughs> Excuse me. Allow it to just come into the land. So you almost can't tell where it starts. It's ultramarine and burnt umber. You can just start to put the tops in. I'm using a rigger brush just to bring the, the detail out in the top. Always allowing some of the sky to show through. Taking some of that paint and putting it in this little dish here. 
break open my mop brush. Very gentle touch. If you're enjoying these Bob Ross videos or any of the other videos that I've made for YouTube, uh, please leave a comment. It's always nice to hear from people. I'm just going to let that dry off a second or two because I want the um, this middle tree here to be a little bit darker. So I'm just going to take some of the sky colour, cadmium red and burnt sienna, and I'm just going to put this roof in. Nice rusty red colour. I think we can bring it down here as well actually. It's dropping in some of the Naples yellow. The French ultramarine with the burnt umber. Just soften the bottom in. It just attaches it to the ground. Just for a little bit of variation in that, I'll take some of the river colour, Naples yellow, then salt marine and burnt umber. Just here and there, just drop some of this in. Just darkening it up at the bottom. And water, just soften this in. Helps to attach your tree to the ground. Pathing with the same colour, French ultramarine and burnt umber, soften the edges in. And I just want to put some waves in here as well, so it's a stronger mixture of the Naples yellow, French ultramarine and burnt umber. This has a and crimson in it, and it's just a little bit darker. You see how wet it is. I just want to put some ripples in here soften these in And then we're just going to allow that to dry. Now that it's dried out, I just want to take a very thin wash of French Ultramine and Burnt Umber, very watery. Just go over this back wall, leaving a window. Sharpening up the edge under the eaves. Taking some of your rusty red colour, put some shingles in it. I think Bob put on these. So with a flat brush. Taking some of the darker mixture, French ultramarine, crimson, burnt umber. Simply done. One or two planks. And then we're just going to let this to dry off a little bit more. 
Prince Ultramarine with a touch of burnt umber in it, just to darken it, and we can put these trees in. French Ultramarine and Burnt Umbra, but the darker shade and just dropping this in, allowing it to bleed. French Ultramarine and Burnt Umbra, darker tone. Just darken this off here. Wanted this one to stand out a little bit more. Just using a rigor brush to put some of the uh, plank line or the um, the lines in for the shingles. I think Bob has a little bush here, so if you've got a little bush in Bob. We'll all put one in here as well. A little bit of French ultramarine and burnt umber. Once again with a damp brush, just soften the bottoms in. I think he has a twig here as well. I think we can bring out some branches. You don't have to be exactly where Bob puts them, you can put them anywhere really. Put a few more in, make it your own. So if you're looking down Bob, I hope you're chuckling and having a good laugh with this one. And I'm just going to let that dry a minute. Okay, now it's just dried off a little bit. I'm just going to take some clean water on a, a damp brush. It's, it's almost a dry brush. And I just want to attach all this to the ground. So I'm just catching the bottom of this tree and softening it all into the ground. Do something we don't normally do. I'm taking some Chinese white straight from the tube. I'm going to lay it on these waves here. Sometimes there's just no way around it. Okay, so where you get around to the best bits, this is where you get your sign it, mount it and frame it. And like I said, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please leave a comment and please subscribe. Subscribers are always welcome and it costs you nothing. It's free. Once again, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you.